I'm Aurora from the Persona channel, in this video I'm going to tell you Emily's story. Keep watching the video until the end and subscribe to the channel. Your support means so much to me. Emily's tale begins in the cozy confines of her family home. She had been adopted shortly after her birth, and her adoptive parents believed in transparency, choosing to reveal the truth to her at a young age. Emily, understanding the love and care she received from her family, accepted her adoption with grace. Nonetheless, her life outside the home contrasted starkly. Emily was an introverted girl who struggled to form friendships and seldom ventured beyond the confines of her room. Her school life was marked by an absence of popularity, and her existence seemed devoid of excitement or intrigue. The turning point arrived on her 16th birthday. Her family orchestrated a surprise birthday party at their home, complete with a splendid cake and a collection of thoughtful gifts. The highlight of the evening was a gift from her cherished grandmother, an ancient, captivating music box and a heart-shaped necklace, both bearing Emily's name. The gesture filled her heart with warmth and happiness. That night, as Emily gently held the necklace in her hand, a mysterious touch brushed against her skin. She turned, fully expecting to see a family member, but no one was there. The moment passed, with Emily attributing it to fatigue or her imagination playing tricks. However, her tranquility was short-lived as the music box began playing on its own, and the sinister shadow of a young girl materialized in her room. This apparition was no ordinary one, the girl's visage resembled that of a decomposed corpse, clad in blood-stained garments. Emily was gripped by terror, but after a brief moment of shock, she convinced herself that it was a hallucination and bravely pressed on with her life. The ghostly encounters, however, persisted relentlessly. The music box would spontaneously play its eerie tune, and the malevolent girl would appear with her hauntingly malicious grin, exuding an aura of threat and fear. Emily's sense of security eroded, and she lived in constant dread of these inexplicable phenomena. One chilling night, as Emily slumbered peacefully, she was abruptly awakened by a sharp pain radiating from her neck. To her horror, she discovered bite marks etched into her flesh, inexplicably inflicted during her sleep. Emily's intuition pointed to the malevolent girl's involvement, and her sense of terror escalated further. As days turned into months, Emily's life took a surprising twist when she encountered Ernesto through a mutual friend. Their connection deepened, and Emily found herself falling in love, a sensation she had never experienced before. Over time, Ernesto reciprocated her affection, and they decided to share their lives together, including his daughter, Jacqueline. This new chapter in Emily's life was marked by serenity, and the ghostly apparitions ceased their torment, allowing the couple to plan their wedding. However, the happiness they had found was abruptly disrupted one day when Ernesto stumbled upon the music box, unwittingly reawakening its sinister influence. Blaming Emily for their newfound suffering, he demanded that she leave their home. Desperate to find a solution, Emily sought out a medium who could shed light on her supernatural ordeal. To her astonishment, the medium uncovered the dark history of the music box. It had once belonged to a young girl named Emily, who had met a grisly end through murder. The vengeful spirit of this girl, referred to as the floater by the medium due to her body being found floating in water, had made it her mission to haunt and torment Emily. Determined to break free from this haunting curse, Emily ventured to the cliff where the girl had met her tragic end, taking the music box necklace with her. With a heavy heart, she cast the music box into the waters below, hoping that it would appease the tormented spirit. The ghostly encounters ceased, offering Emily a reprieve from her torment. However, the emotional scars from her harrowing experiences endured, and her life was forever marked by the chilling presence of the floater. Emily's story served as the source material for an episode of the Netflix series, Haunted, a haunting reminder of the terrifying experiences that nearly cost her everything she held dear. Thank you for listening to the story till the end. If you found it interesting, 
Please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel.